Good day everyone. It's uh, nearly four o'clock on uh, the 6th of March uh, 2024. 35 years ago I arrived in this cunt tree. Uh, today I'm just having a quick break from my work and um, reviewing quickly Mountain Culture American Pale Ale coming in at 5.0% ABV, 355 milk can, a little small. Um, this full flavoured beer is well rounded, lemmier than Mr. Schnicket. So piney, you could varnish it and crisper than pre dawn mountain air. Basically, it will go down easier than a diving submarine with the hatch, hatch still open, uh, made in Katoomba. So let's get this out in the glass. Talking about submarines, I see a kind of a prime minister uh, has been accused for the International Criminal Court of Justice uh, for complicity in genocide. And personally, I hope that they find him guilty and that he gets to either crunch or swing, if you know what I mean. Referencing, of course, the famed Nuremberg trials where similar people met their fate. I think his behavior in respect of supporting Israel is totally reprehensible as is that of the rest of his Nazi regime. Okay, let's get the beer in the glass. This is it, big frothy head there. Very highly carbonated glass glass. Uh, there's a lot going on in this, in this. I don't know whether you can see it there, but there's a lot going on in this glass. It's really alive. Um, the head is dissipating slightly. It is hazy. Um, the smell, the aroma is quite strong. Beautiful can. I don't know that I've got a mountain culture on my wall of fame. Uh, I don't. Um, I do like some of their beers, um, but they haven't made, made it to the wall of fame yet. Very peachy, very pe apricot, very, very apricot smelling. Ah, oh, that's quite a pleasant smell. Lemony apricot smell. All right, let's have a try. Oh, as you put your mouth to it and inhale, you can smell the, the apricot coming through. And then this bitter, hoppy, lemony kind of smell drifts in and, and floods everything on your palate. Um, mm. <coughs> it's very different. It's not unpleasant. But you've got to, you know, you've got to sort of steal yourself for this one. Um, sessionable? Yeah, I think you, uh, I think you could drink a few of these around the barbecue, um, vegan or otherwise. But it's sort of got a handle on it. This is big hoppy stuff. Um, It's a bit hoppy with a little bit of coarseness in there. Wow, this one, this one really um, gives you a buzz. Mm. Yeah, going into a submarine with the hatch still open. Mm. I don't know what, what kind of people sit in a little office and come up with the spiels for the back of these cans. I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe it comes to them in a dream in the middle of the night. You know. Yeah, it's an interesting beer. Uh, I'd recommend you people try it. I'd recommend people buy it. But it's it's a confronting beer. It's a confronting beer. 
bit of glazing, glazing, glazing on the glass, on the mudgy brewing glass. Um, yeah, oof. it's pretty full on. Yeah, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It's a nice, refreshing, cold beer. Uh, the beats all the standard shit. Two is new and VD and all that kind of garbage, hands down. Yeah, give it a go. Mountain Culture, American Pale Ale. <coughs> it's not bad. Bye.